Hi everyone, my name's Ryan. Uh, I'm one of the reptile keepers here at Flamingo Land. And you're with me here today for this episode of Zoo TV at Reptile River, where we'll be following on the journey of introducing our male and female Lao banded iguanas to see if love blossoms here at the zoo. <laughs> So we've still got Ringo just in there by himself at the moment, so I'm just going to go put some of his and the female's diet in um, scattered around the enclosure so when the female comes in they've got the food spread out across multiple uh, multiple locations in the enclosure so it almost acts as like a little bit of a distraction method for them as well. Okay. So these guys are primarily arboreal, so we tend to feed them quite high up. So they're used to sort of eating um, at the tops of at the tops of trees, things like that. So that's why we've got sort of feed stations located quite high up. Um, today they've got a mixture of pak choy, romaine lettuce, and then a few blueberries in there as a little treat for them since it's a big day. So I'm just going to scatter it around in various different spots to keep them busy. Uh, but they do they do have a bit of a soft spot for blueberries, so because it's such a big day today, they have got some blueberries added into the diet as well as a little treat for them. So Ringo is a Lao banded iguana, so he is, um, he is an adult now, so he's an adult male. Um, he will be four on Christmas day this year. Um, we've had him here at Flamingo Land for um, just under three years now, so he arrived September 2021. Um, he was only very little when we first got him, so he must have been about that sort of size, body size. Um, and now he's, he's, uh, he's grown on very well. He's about two foot in length, uh, including the tail. So he's, he's matured now, um, and he say he's, uh, he's an adult male, so he's, he's ready for a girlfriend. They are an endangered species, so um, Ringo is and and our and our female is part of um, a European breeding program. Um, they are found in very sort of very small location in the world, so they are only found on a few select uh, Lao Islands in the Fijian archipelago. They are endangered now because of various. Uh, threats to the species such as um, agriculture, uh, deforestation, um, invasive predators, introduced predators um, such as cats. Um, so it is estimated that there are only about 13,000 of these animals left in the wild now. Ringo has been in this enclosure for about three years now. Uh, he settled in really well and he is, uh, I say he's an adult male now so he's we're ready to introduce a female to him and hopefully have a breeding pair. Um, so we did have a female arrive um, from Colchester Zoo about a month ago at the end of May. Um, she's undergone a 30 day quarantine period. Um, so she's currently over at our, our education centre where um, we've been taking faecal tests and vet checks and stuff to make sure that she's healthy to move across in with Ringo. So we're just in our uh, education classroom here at Flamingo Land. So this is where we have been uh, quarantining our female Lao banded iguana. So she's just there, just behind me in the vivarium. I don't know if you can see her hiding between the plants. Um, as I say, that's, that's where she's been for the last last month or so. Um, and she's getting ready to move her across to the Reptile River enclosure.
So the scales are showing, um, reading at 151 grams, which is her weight without the box. So um, that is about perfect for uh, an adult female Lao banded iguana. You usually expect them to be between 150 to 175 grams. So she's a still a little bit still on the young side. So um, she's still got a little bit of growing left in her. So 151 grams is about perfect weight for them. So she's looking healthy. She's looking very healthy, yeah. So just a short journey, so we're back at the uh, the Reptile River, just over our Children's Planet section of the zoo. Um, so I've still got the female Lao banded iguana in here. So we're going to take her inside, take her through to the uh, iguana enclosure. Um, we'll, we'll take her out of the box there, let her come out in her own time. And uh, it's, it's, it's the big moment, so it could either go really well or nothing, nothing might happen at all. But we'll see. We really don't know. Straight out. Well. Yeah. As of yet, undecided on a name for her. So um, I think when we get to know her a little bit more, we'll probably come up with a come up with a suitable name for her. So her her partner to be is called Ringo. So what are the options you've been discussing for names? So uh, tying sort of between possibly Barbara or Maureen. Why would that be? Um, so they are the sort of past and current wives of Ringo Starr, which is who our male iguana is named after. So nothing really to report yet. So the female's gone in really well. She's she took herself out of the box without any encouragement, so she was she was quite happy to come out. Um, she's just sort of still sat on the log, so she's just taking it all in. At the moment. So it's a brand new environment for us. It's the first time she's been in here. It's a lot bigger space than. The, the quarantine enclosure that she's been in, so it'll take her a few minutes just to get adjusted to the temperature uh, and to the new environment as well. Um, so she's just currently just on this sort of middle branch here. Ringo the male is higher up to the sort of in the foliage, uh, unsure whether he's spotted or spotted her or not, or if he's just not that interested as of yet. It's hard to tell. He's not really sort of showing any indication that he's seen her yet. So we'll give it a bit longer. So romance could still blossom? Yeah, I think so. It might just take a little bit longer. It might not be straight off the straight off the bat, but not love at first sight. We'll see. We might not have seen each other yet. 